Hello everyone and I welcome all of you to Mentor for IS. This is Pratik Srivastava here and in our today's session we are going to solve UPSC CSAT prelims question and all this question has been asked in the UPSC prelims 2022. Now many of the students were saying sir CSAT paper was tough okay and many of them has got very good marks in the GS in the first paper but they were not able to clear CSAT. Now, there is only two reasons. Either the questions were tough or your preparation was not good, right? So friends, in our today's session, I am going to solve the question within 30 seconds. So the questions were actually not tough. Your preparation was not up to the mark. Your preparation was not good. You did not know how to solve the question with the help of short tricks. Your basic was not good. And that is what you are going to see with me today. And if you watch the video till the end, you will be able to learn a lot and you will be able to think. You will be able to think in your mind and many questions you will be able to solve in your mind itself. Okay. Now, so here you have question number one. So this question you could have directly ticked. Okay. So this question basically you would have directly ticked. Okay, that option D will be the correct answer. Now, let us understand. So, it will not even take 30 seconds. So, as I promised with you that we will be able to solve the questions within 30 seconds or say maximum one minute. Okay, and with the help of tricks, with the help of concepts. So, question number one here, 24 men and 12 women can do a piece of work in 30 days. Okay, in how many days can 12 men and 24 women do the same piece of work. Sir, how the answer is data inadequate? Let us understand. So 24 women and 12, sorry, 24 men and 12 women can do a piece of work in 30 days. So you have one equation here. In how many days 12 men and 24 men can do the same piece of work? So basically they are asking you to solve this question and they're asking you the efficiency. Now, here you have only one equation, okay? So only one equation, but you have two unknowns. So omen and men efficiency, basically you have to calculate. You have to tell men and omen will be able to do the work in how many days. Now, only one equation and two unknown, even mathematics cannot solve. Nobody can solve this question because the data is not given. See, in class one and class two, so there was two equation given to you, right? So x minus one and x plus x minus y is equal to two and x plus y is equal to six. And then they were asking you to solve, right? X and y and you were doing it. So it's very simple. Mathematics says, so if you have two equations, okay, then you can find out two unknowns. If we have three equations, you can find out three unknowns, okay? But if we have one equations, then you cannot find out two unknowns. So the number of equations and the number of unknown should be same. That is what I wanted to say you. And that's the reason I said. So when you saw the question immediately, because you have only one equation, 24 men and 12 women can do your work in 30 days. You have only one equation and you should have marked option D is the correct answer. If they will tell here 24 women and uh, 12 women, 24 men and 12 women can do a piece of work in 30 days. And then again, they say that 40 men and suppose uh, 48 women can do a work in uh, 60 days. Then in how many days 12 men and 24 women can do that? When you have two equations in that time, you will be able to solve it. So this is question number one. And if you have any doubt in this question, then please uh, put your query in the comment box. I will reply. Okay. Now, so let us move to the next question. So this question was clear to you, right? Okay. Now, question number two here, uh, this all this screenshot have been taken from the UPSC CSAT prelims question. Okay. Now, so what is the number of numbers of the form? Okay. Zero point X, Y, where X and Y are distinct non-zero digit. Now, many students will see the question and then they will say, I'm not able to solve. Friends, 80 questions will be asked in CSAT. Okay. 80 questions will be asked in CSAT for 200 marks, okay? And how much marks you have to get? Only 66 marks, okay? That means you have to solve only 27 questions. You can think in another way that 53 questions you have to leave and come. See, this is the first exam I'm seeing where you have to solve 
27 question and you have to leave 53 questions and then come back so if you solve 27 question your csat is clear okay so this csat paper 2 you do not have to worry at all now and the questions are also see i'm not saying all the questions are very very easy but the questions are easy okay so that you will be able to clear your cutoff okay so out of this 80 questions so you will be easily able to find okay so 27 or say 40 questions easy which will make you clear the cutoff in uh, in the csat section okay now so just work on your basics so what is the number of numbers of the form point x y where x and y are distinct non zero digit so x and y are different okay it, it cannot be same now so and it should be non zero so they have given two condition one should be distinct and one should be non zero okay i mean this should not be same that means x and y cannot be 8 8 okay and second condition what they have given this would be non zero i mean they cannot be zero there right okay now so how many possibilities you have for x so you have nine possibilities for x you can put one two three four five six seven eight nine you have nine possibilities for x and how many possibilities for y so you will be having only eight possibilities for y so it is 72 now i know many of you will not be able to understand so for that you can see here so basically this i used permutation and combination so this is your x and this is your y now how many choices you have for x so as i said one two three four five six seven eight nine so nine choice now here suppose if you are putting nine here then you cannot put nine here right because that say x and y are distinct so you cannot put the same number here so if you are putting 9 here, then you will have to put 8 here, okay. So here you will be having one option less. So if you have put 9 here, then you will be left with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. You cannot put 9 here. So that is the reason you have one option left here. See, I am giving you the deep explanation. So 9 into 8 is just to 72. But if you have attended my classes, if you have watched my video, then you can see here, x and y so directly sir x will be 9 sir y will be 8 sir it is 72 how much time it will take 30 seconds okay 30 seconds but i know many of you will not be able to understand because you have not worked on your basics and that is a problem okay otherwise you could have done in 30 seconds and 2.5 plus 2.5 marks will be awarded for this particular question okay now how much time it took 30 seconds right next so what is the remainder what is the remainder when uh, 91 92 93 94 95 oh, till 99 is divided by 1261 now sir can you solve this in 30 seconds yes man i can solve this in 30 seconds and along with me you will also solve in 30 seconds but first let us understand what is the question see for you understanding the basic is the first thing and once you become little pro in that and then only you will be able to solve right okay so here they are telling 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. You should not write all those things, man. I'm telling you, you should not write. So unnecessary in the exam, do not waste time. Because I have to explain here. So that is the reason I'm doing. Otherwise, I could have directly done here. So 13, uh, 7 ja, and 13, if you try to divide, then it will go by 97 times. And 97 and 97. So the remainder will be zero. If you will ask me to solve, so that's all done. The question is already done. But you see how we can do it. Okay. Now, so here we have 91 till 99. So now, basically, this has to divide this. So first, we will try to factorize this. Or what you can do here, we have 91. So 91 will be nothing but 13 into 7. And this 1261, you can check if you are able to divide it by 13. So 13 9 ja. 117, 16 minus 7 is 9, and 13 7 ja will be 91. So basically, this 13 7 ja and 13 97 times, and 97 and 97 will get cancelled. So basically, 4 by 2. So 4 by 2 means if you are able to divide, that means your remainder is nothing but 0. Always try to relate with basics. Work on your basics, the problem will automatically become simple. So 12, 61, so it will divide this and this, that's all done. And your answer will become what? Remainder will become what? Zero. That is what I have already marked. Already done. Okay, so within 30 seconds, it was already done. So, sir, 
how will I come to know that this number is divisible by 13 or not? Or I should try with 13 or not? This is the right question. You should always ask question to your faculty, your teachers. Okay. So how will I come to know? You directly started with 13. Why did not you start with 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10? Valid question. Okay. I will tell you why I did not start or how I thought. See, uh, you know the divisibility rule of 3. So any number is divisible by 3 if their sum is equals to if their sum is divisible by 3. So 6, 2, 9, 1, 10, 1, 11. Okay. So sorry, 6, 3, 9 and plus 1, 10. So 10 is not divisible by 3. So this number is not divisible by 3. Okay. Now 4, no, 5. No, the 5 divisibility rule says 0 and 1. It is not divisible by 3. So it will not be divisible by 6 also. It is not divisible by 2. So it will not be divisible by 8. Or for 8, what you can do is the last two digit you try to divide. So after seeing this, you will come to know that it is not divisible by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. 11 also. So for 11 also, divisibility rule is there. 6 plus 1, 7. 7 minus 3 is 4. Not divisible. So directly we will check for 13. Sir, what is the divisibility rule of 13? So the last digit multiply by 9. So 1 into 9 will be 9. And this 9 you subtract from 126. So you will be able to see here it will become 117. Yes. So this number is divisible by 13. So definitely you will have to do some practice. You will have to spend some time. I see I am not saying that after overnight study you will be, become perfect. So you will be having the classes for one month or two months. And then only you will be able to think. See the in CSAT. Only two things you have to do. So you have to understand the basics and you have to understand the shortcuts. That's all. And it's my guarantee. It's my challenge that each one watching this video, each one sitting in the classroom will be able to solve the aptitude questions, aptitude and reasoning questions. Okay. Now, so I will solve one more question for you guys. Okay. So question number 74 and then question number 75, we will be doing in the next video. So, sir, 15 into 14 into 13 into 3 into 2 into 1 is equal to 3 to the power m into n, where m and n are positive integers. Then what is the maximum value of m? That's all. See, after seeing this, either a student, what they will do? So they will just take out whatever they want. So they will just do a guess. Okay. But understanding this, what it is saying, if you understand this, if you understand the question, see, they are asking m, 3 to the power m. So they are asking m. Okay. So 3 to the power m. So it is very much clear that 3 to the power something will be here. When your base is same, then only, then only you will be able to find out the value of M. See, this is basic concept. This is no, see who says uh, UPSC CSAT is tough, man. You bring, bring them here. Who says UPSC CSAT is tough and he is not able to, he is not able to clear. Bring them here. I will pick 40 questions from that and I will ask them to solve 40 questions means 40 into 2.5 you will be able to get 100 marks. You need only 66 marks. Forget about 100 marks, man. Who is asking you to solve? Who is asking you to attempt that question? Now, so 3 to the power m, that means you have to basically find out 3 to the power something. So if your base is same, then only you will be able to calculate, okay, the value of m, your power will be same. So like 3 to the power 3 is equals to m, uh, sorry, 3 to the power, 3 to the power m. So from here, you can say m is equals to 3. This is how you are going to solve. See, why I am telling you that? I am giving you an idea. Means what you have to think? That you have to find out from here, you have to find out 3 to the power. From here, see, 3 into 5, so 1, 3 is here, okay? Now, so 14 and then 12 will be there, so 3 into 4. And then you will be having 9, so 9 will be 3 into 3. And then you will be having 6, 6 will be nothing but 3 into 2. And then already 1, 3. How many 3's are there? 1. 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So total 3 to the power 6 is equal to 3 to the power m. This is what UPSC CSAT level question. This would come in some PUN. So PUN exam, not even KS level question is there. So this is not even KS level, KPSC level, PSI level, no. So this, this should not be the UPSC CSAT level question. If they're asking, it is not correct, okay? So you will be able to answer just by seeing this question. I, I told you 30 seconds in the beginning, right? How much time it took? 3 into 5. See, this I told you so that you will be able to understand. How much time it will take? 3 into 5, 3 into 4, 3 into 3, 3 into 2, 3. How many 6? 3 to the power 6. M will be equal to 6. Now, this question for is for you. So before I upload second video, so before I upload second video, 
I wanted you to solve this. So this at least a sequence problem. So this you will be able to solve it. If not, please watch out my second video. So part two video will start from this question and then you will be able to see a lot of questions. Okay. With the 30 second tricks. So all these questions with the 30 second tricks, you will be able to see in the second video. So thank you.